What is going on guys, I'm Adriano and this video is about how to read and write Apache Parquet files with no code using FME Workbench. So I'm really excited that with FME 2021 they've added support for reading and writing Parquet data. I do a lot of work building data platforms in AWS and Parquet is an increasingly popular format that I see more and more. So this is super simple to do in FME so let's just get started. Alright so let's jump into how to read Parquet data so I can simply type in Parquet on my canvas here and the reader is automatically going to pop up. So I'm just going to give that a click. That's going to bring up our reader here. So first let's walk through how to read an individual Parquet file. So I'm just going to go to navigate all locally where my file is stored. So this is my Parquet file and all I got to do is hit OK and you're going to see that the file is going to load in FME Workbench. So we can quickly go inspect the results and we can see that the data is successfully loaded. So a lot of times a uh, data set is broken into multiple Parquet files. So if you want to read that in FME, that's also possible. So all you have to do is if you go back to add a reader, we're going to select single merge feature type as an option here. And now we're going to go to select multiple folders. And what we're going to be doing is first, we're going to go to add folder instead of an individual file. You're going to select your folder that has your multiple Parquet files you want to read. And now I'm just going to hit OK and then we're going to hit OK as well on the reader and that's going to load in all your files so, so you can quickly inspect your data make sure it all looks good and there you go super simple now let's move on to writing data in FME Workbench so we're just going to go to add a writer and now what we're going to be doing is select again just type in Parquet should pop up and now you're going to just specify your write folder location. So I'm just going to select a folder location on my desktop here. And now for feature type, if it's coming from a transformer, you can select automatic. But for my case, I'm just going to keep it as copy from reader. And I'm going to use my individual data set here. Now I'm just going to attach that to my writer here and we can give our new data set and a name. Let's just call it test output and hit OK. There you go, we're all set. I'm just going to remove one of the readers I don't need and I'm now just going to go and give that a run. There you go, I've successfully read and wrote Parquet data using FME Workbench. Now obviously this is a very simplistic workbench, but most likely you're going to want to introduce some type of transform into your workflow. And that's very easy with FME as well. For example, I could use an attribute manager, let's say, introduce that in there to clean up or rename my columns, for example. I also want to point out, you can also read and write Parquet using feature readers and feature writers. So if I go to add a feature reader, for example, if I select that, I should be able to select Parquet as a file format as well. And same thing with the feature writer. So if I go to feature writer, you can also see that Parquet is an option that we can use as well. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks so much for watching and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my next video on data integration. See you next time.